physicists. So let's talk about Newton's first law of motion. Um, first off, it ha well, essentially it has two aspects, but what it means is that an object will have constant velocity unless a force acts upon it. So, if an object is at rest, it will stay at rest unless a force acts upon it. In other words, this pen will stay sitting here unless I push on it, okay? otherwise it won't move. Now, the second part of that is an object in motion will continue to move at the same velocity, in other words, the, what exactly what it's doing, unless a force acts upon it. Okay, so if this is moving on a straight line at constant velocity, it won't change either direction or its speed unless something stops it, unless something pushes it harder. Okay, so um, again, our imaginary ice skater who's skating in a vacuum, they will skate forever unless something stops them. Now, this describes a process called, or a concept called, inertia. Okay, now inertia is kind of a big deal. So, basically, inertia, again, first law of motion, is the tendency for an object to continue doing what it's doing unless something makes it do otherwise. So, often you'll have students who will continue to sit there until you push them, until you make them do something. That's an inertial object. So here we have a guy riding a motorbike and he's cruising along. Now, here we see two forces are about to oppose each other. And that's the back of the ute and the bike rider's bike. They're going to hit each other. But the force you'll see is not acting on the bike rider. It's acting on the bike. So the bike rider, because there's no force acting on him, he's going to continue doing what he's doing which in this case is moving forward, which means he'll end up in the back of the ute. So when the bike stops like that, because the force is acting on it, nothing's acted on the, the bike right now, and he just keeps going straight over the handlebars of the back of the ute. Where we might see this is a cart, or if you put something in the back of a ute and you don't tie it down, if you've got a ball sitting in a, a cart, like a little kid's cart, um, if the cart's sitting still and the ball's there, and all of a sudden you start to drag the cart away, the ball will stay still. It looks as though it's going to roll back, it's rolling backwards, and that's because the cart is moving underneath it, but it'll stay still until it hits the back here, and then it'll start to roll forward with it. So you're moving along, and then you stop. But there's nothing at the front of this opposing it, there's nothing stopping it. So even though the cart stops, the ball continues to roll forward. That's inertia. Something's going to go in a straight line. If you're sitting in a car, and you turn, so the car turns, the reason you start to feel as though you're leaning to the side is you're not leaning to the side at all, your body is just still trying to go in a straight line, it's just the car's going against it. If you're going up in a roller coaster, the reason you get that really light feeling is when the roller coaster, which is attached to the tracks, goes down for a brief second until your harness starts to pull you down or gravity beats it to it, you feel as though you're weightless because you're still going forward even though the roller coaster is leaving you there, it's so you're going forward in the roller coaster and then you get pulled down with it. Alright, that's inertia, that's the first law of motion. Know it, be awesome, see you later.